And Katerina, last question for you is what advice do you have for dancers who are considering starting a career in the Middle East? Uh, I would, there are so many advices I would give because I have like more than 10 years experience right now and it will be like I would avoid so many mistakes if I would knew this 10 years ago and I was just talking to Marcia yesterday <laughs> that she told me like you have to do the online course for people yes. who just start in this because uh, for me it's just like something mm. that I used to and I know this but for some people it's just like some really new information mm. and uh, also people don't know for example um, how what is the average price you can ask for your uh, mm. uh, daily wages and uh, what is the uh, how you should deal with the agent how you should deal with the with the hotel management especially mm. and you know how to avoid all this process like how to arrange your like visa work permit and all these things and um, just for me the main uh, advice is to, to check with someone who've been working there before and uh, or a life for kids. Yes. yes. <laughs> when I was just gonna say, so the best advice is to come and train with you. <laughs> yeah, because lots of dancers are asking yeah. me about advices, but like, yeah. uh, I would recommend really to check with someone who's been working there and to yes. like search about this uh, place where you're going to work. And uh, but the also number one um, uh, advice is like, don't be afraid. Yeah. You know, and lots of people will maybe give you like uh, some uh, things like they they have bad experience in some places because I used to have like back feedback about some place where I was working they had like bad experience and I have much better or I was working there with mm. different management and they're all is changing and yes. it's like uh, I, I had good experience and someone else get bad experience mm. so just never be afraid of trying and I would tell you like nobody's going to kidnap you yeah this is number one because everybody is afraid like they're going to kidnap you I said like you know guys like it's uh, still it's pretty safe nobody's going to kidnap you and uh, again make sure that you once you go there you can always leave and don't be afraid actually to like fight for your rights because this is what number one experience uh, which I get when I was there because I always have lots of troubles with the agents you'll get it with the hotel management but don't be afraid to go even to police and uh, tell them that we're going to uh, tell that you are not like you are not trying to cheat me with this, my salary or you are trying to cheat with any conditions and like don't be afraid because actually um, those people they they will be more in trouble than you if you're yeah. going to fight for your rights you know what I mean so Great. just don't be afraid fight for your rights <laughs> that's fantastic Thank you.